What's up guys, it's Justin with a new video for you guys. Today we're gonna be going over how to set up Tradeovate. This is my main broker of how I use to trade when I'm on the live streams and just kind of in general. So a lot of people have been requesting that I make a video on how to set it up, how to, you know, use the charting platform, how I actually put on trades, you know, how do, how do I buy, how do I sell, kind of all that kind of thing. So first thing you're going to want to do is if you don't already have an account with Tradeovate and you, you know, want to set up an account, you're going to go to Tradeovate's website, Tradeovate.com. I'll leave it, the link in the description. Going to go to the main website. You'll be here. You're going to go to open an account. Log in, or you won't log in, but you'll sign up, put your email in. I think it'll ask you for your ID as well. You can either put, you know, a picture of your ID, a picture of a passport, whatever that is. And then it'll take a little bit of time for you to get uh, accepted because you do have to request. Um, a lot of the times it can take either, you know, five minutes to an hour to over a day. So it'll kind of just depend, um, depending on, you know, when you get accepted. So after you get accepted, I want you guys to go over, download the actual application, and then log in. So let's switch over to here. When you log in to the actual desktop application, you'll be met with this screen. So live trading, uh, you again, you this is where you'll actually you know trade live. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the simulation because I'm going to show you guys how to actually you know put on and use orders and you know use the DOM. So when you do open, it should look like uh, reset. It should look like this when you first open it up. So I don't actually use a lot of the things on Tradeovate. As you guys know, I use TradingView for my charts. So a lot of the stuff that is on the application and in the platform, I don't actually use. The only really thing I use is this right here, which is the DOM. So we'll, we'll be going mostly over this right here, which is the DOM in today's video. Uh, you can come up here again. You can see your performance for the week. Uh, this is where you'll see, you know, your total P&L, your net liquidity. Again, this says demo. Of course, we want our demo account. When you're on a live account, it'll say live. You can go to your performance, you know, if I was going to say, you know, this month, talk about, you know, it'll give you a lot of stats. This is my, like, my favorite part about Tradeovate is it'll give you all your stats for, you know, whatever time you could do this week, last week, you know, whatever it is, orders, cash, all this kind of stuff. So you get a lot of stiff stuff that you can look at through uh, your account. Uh, if you want to fund your account, it's going to be the same thing on the live account. You're going to go click on the live account. And uh, when you're on it, you'll go here and it should say up here that you'll be able to fund it. And then you can wire transfer or you can also do it from the website. So for the actual application here, I'm going to take off a lot of this stuff because I don't need it. Like this right here, all these indices don't need that. All this right here, orders and stuff don't need this. Take this off. This is kind of how I set up my charts, right? So I have my DOM on the left. And then I have my two sort of ES and NQ charts here, right? So I'm going to change this to NQ, NQU. And you can kind of manage, you know, customize however you want it. I don't really use any of these uh, indicators. So I'm going to take these off, go to indicators, remove all of these, don't really need them. Like that. So then it's a lot more clear and concise of what I want to do. So you can also have settings here. You can go into, you know, configure your NQ chart. If you want to change the colors, right, I normally like black and white candles, so you can, you know, do that body up, body, wick up, you know, kind of whatever you want to do. Like that. You, very, very, very customizable, right? So you can do a lot of stuff with Trade of 8 charts. Again, any time frame, you can move in, move out. If you want to do drawings, you can do drawings as well. You go to the drawing tools. What do you want to draw, right? Shapes, you can create uh, key binds for this as well, right? If I was going to draw, you know, a fair value gap, stuff like that. So Trade of 8. You can pretty much do anything on this platform as, you know, you could on uh, TradingView. I just like TradingView. I've just become, you know, familiar with it. So the main thing I'm going to actually go over in this video, though, is the DOM. So when I actually trade, what I do is I use TradingView like this, and I use the DOM. So let me take off these charts here. I strictly just use the DOM like this. So what I'll do is I'll have my, you know, TradingView here. And I'll have, you know, my, my actual DOM on my other monitor. But for the sake of this video, I'll keep it here so you guys can see. And I'll show you guys how I actually put on orders. So right now we're looking at ES. Let me just, you know, zoom in so we can get, you know, a little bit of a bigger understanding here. And I'll show you guys how I use the DOM. So let's say I wanted to place a long. Let's say, you know, I want a long here. What I do is I can choose my quantity up here. Again, ES, if you want to trade micros, you go MES, right? And our month code that we're using right now is U. So let's say I want to enter, you know, three contracts here. 
what I do normally is up here, it's going to say buy market, exit at market, and sell market. So these are market orders. When you press this, it'll fill you at market price. Now, I don't normally enter on market price. I enter with a limit order. And how do you put a limit order, you might ask? Well, you have this bid side here on the left, and you have this ask side here on the right. Now, if you want to enter long, you click on the buy side like this. Boom, I left order click. Filled. It enters me in. You can hear it says order filled. I'm actually going to go here, go to settings. Click show estimated PL and it'll actually show my PL right here. This is my favorite part of Trade of Eight, is it shows the PL on every single tick up, right? This is how you can, you know, manage your risk. So let's say, you know, I was going to put my stop. Let's say I entered in long, right? Right here, you know, I'm targeting, you know, let's say up here and I put my stop at the low. So this is how I do it. I look at whatever this low is, right? So I look at the price and I'm like, okay, I look at the low 1504.25. 1405.25. Oh I go right here. So again, this is a buy order. So my stop loss is going to be a sell limit order. And then I come down here, wherever my stop is, and I right click, boom, right click. You can see that limit order gets placed on my DOM. And if we end up coming to that level, it'll automatically stop me out right here. And same thing if I wanted to have a price target. Let's say my price target's up here. I go over to the sell side order rejected. and I left click. I left click since it's actually above uh the current price if it's below i right click if it's above i left click again you can see if i right click order rejected it'll say order rejected so if you go left click it'll put the order in here this is kind of confuses people you can also take it drag it you know if you want to put your limit order you know here move it up maybe a little bit maybe i want to get out now i could just put it right there order filled. it'll take me off right and then same thing if i want to go short i'm just going to left click on the right side right the sell side boom order filled gets me in short if I want to sell, right, let's just say I want to sell right now. Most of the time when I'm taking out profits, I just go here and I click on order limit filled. order. And it'll fill me out whatever that limit order is, right? So it's super easy to understand, right? Super easy. I love TradeBase Platform. It's very user-friendly. If you ever feel like you need to get out of a position quick, like let's say order I'm in shorts filled. here and, you know, I just want to get out or cancel it. Again, all you got to do, boom, exit at market order and cancel. Filled. And it'll cancel all your orders and it'll take off whatever you have at market. And most of the time, you know, it's not going to hurt you that bad. But most of the time when I'm entering trades, I'll wait for my entry. You know, let's say we come down to a fair value gap and I'll go, boom, limit order, order in. Filled. Put my in, put my limit order in. I check what my stop loss is going to be. Or I'm like, okay, 15058. Let's just say that's it. Go down to, uh, actually, uh, this is on NQ. I'm actually kind of dumb here. Uh, but whatever it is on ES, right? If I'm trading ES, let's say my stop's at, you know, 4408, whatever that is, 4408. Put my, since I'm long, it's a sell order. So I put my stop right here if we come back down it'll automatically fill me for my stop if i price targets up here i automatically put it right there right so super easy to understand again if i want to get out boom just click limit it'll put a limit order here right if i want to see a little bit more push right and then i'll get filled or if i don't I just pick put it wherever order we're at, filled. and i'll get filled right so that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much the main the main way that i i, I use trade of i pretty much only use the dom right a lot of you guys know i'm strictly just a a chart trader. I don't use any, you know, indicators. I don't really use uh, order flow that much. I use bookmap a little bit, uh, but all I really need is the chart to understand, um, you know, the draw and liquidity, understanding, you know, again, price action is king. The saying price action is king, 100% agree. So just recognize the market. That's all I need. And then this is just all I need to use for the DOM, just to enter, right? Enter, buy. So hopefully this helped you guys out on how to use the DOM, how to use the, you know, desktop application a little bit more. Again, not too long of a video. But I just wanted to show you guys how I use uh, stop orders, you know, limit orders and, and stuff like that. And just kind of how I use the DOM, how I use the DOM. So hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit and uh, make sure like subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.